You know, and all that sweat has just ruined your hair. Run your hand through your hair, fix your hair up a bit, make yourself look all good and sexy again. That's it, you're looking pretty good. But the sun, the heat, oh. 102 degrees it is now. And you're starting to get really thirsty. You're starting to get dehydrated. Your lips are starting to get all pasty. You can really do it to drink right about now. Lucky for you, you see a bartender way off in a distance. Put your hand up in the air, flag down that bartender, let him know you want a drink. He doesn't see you. Yell out, bartender, bartender! He's coming by, he's got a tray of nice, icy cold drinks. He's in front of you right now. Go ahead, reach out in front of you, grab a drink off that tray. And pound that drink back. When you don't let the drink, the sauce glass behind you. You don't give a fuck. This isn't your country. Man, that drink feels really good. You know, I think that bartender must really like you because he didn't just give you a single. He didn't give you a double. He gave you a triple. And man, it's starting to kick in right now. You're starting to really feel it. You're starting to feel really confident and really sexy. You're a machine. No one can stop you now. Mm. And that's perfect timing. Because just at the water's edge, there's a group of people of the opposite sex wearing really scantily clad beachwear. And they're so hot. And as you walk by, they're pointing, they're smiling, they're waving at you, they're flirting. Go ahead, wave at the back, smile, flirt, let them know you see them. <laughs> You got a feeling this is going to be a really good vacation. <laughs> and just as they disappear off into the horizon, there's someone else walking by. Keep your eyes closed, switch your eyes, link forward. Who is that? What? It's a little old man. He's like 96 years old, about 96 pounds. As he walks in front of you, notice he's completely naked. He thinks he's on a new beach. He's got some great buzz on his chest. His balls are dragging in the sand. And he's also checking you out. Show him off. Wait my way. Tell him get the fuck out of here. And he's gone. Never to return again. Oh, but the heat's... Now, the last time you went on a vacation, you came home with a really nasty sunburn. This time you're smart. You brought some suntan lotion with you. Reach down to the ground, pick up that suntan lotion, and squeeze it over your hands. Rub it all over your arms, your legs. Your chest. <laughs> You know, it's always hard to get that suntan lotion in the middle of your back. Try to reach around there, get the suntan lotion on your back. I don't think you'll be able to do it, though. Try. You know what? We're all friends on vacation. Turn to your neighbor next to you, help them out. Rub some suntan lotion on their back. They rub on their back. Get it down really good. When you're done, switch. Get the person on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not suntan lotion. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed and look up in the sky. What is that? It's a dark gray cloud. And it's coming into your sun. This is totally going to ruin your suntan plans. This is horrible. As the shade casts on you and the temperature is starting to drop. 95, 90, 86, 82, 78, 70. There's a wind starting to pick up, starting to come in off the ocean, it's starting to get a little bit chilly as the temperature starting to drop more and more. 65, 60, 50 degrees. You're still wearing your swimsuit and the temperature's starting to drop and the whole sky is turning dark and gray. Rub your arms, rub your legs, man. Get yourself a little bit warm. It's starting to get a little bit chilly. At the count of three, you'll be no longer on the beach. You're going to be in the Arctic. In the igloo, minus 60 degrees, wearing your bathing suit, shivering and shaking, chatting your teeth, trying to survive. Here you go, the count of three. You're in the Arctic. One. Two, three, you're in the arc, it is so cold. The wind is blowing like crazy out there. Rub yourself vigorously. Rub harder, it's the only way to get yourself warm. You're inside this little igloo, outside there's a blizzard. And some fucking idiot just opened the door, and comes all the wind and snow. Yell at this guy, yell at him, shut the fucking door. the best source of heat is body heat. Grab the person next to you, face some body heat, rub them vigorously. Tell the way to keep yourself warm.
Ladies and gentlemen, earlier I asked you why, now we can to make lots of noise for tonight's volunteers. At the beginning of the show, we are from level number five to level number one. At level number five, you're wide awake. At level number one, you're deep asleep. Your eyes are closed, your head fell forward, your chin was touching your chest. Let's point forward. Anytime I say the words to you, deep asleep, or something similar, I want you to go back to level number one. Closing your eyes, letting your head fall forward, your chin touching your chest. We're going to practice that right now. Lean back in your chairs. I count of three, you're going to close your eyes, go deep, deep asleep. One, two, three. Close your eyes. Go deep, deep asleep. We're going to do one little more warm-up test with them. I promise they're going to have fun. You're going to have even more fun. <laughs> Everyone on the stage on the count of three. When I wake you up, you're going to find that your favorite instrument is underneath your seats. It could be the drums, the violin, the trumpet, the guitar, the triangle, the spoons, whatever it is, it's your favorite instrument. And you're the best at it. At the count of three, you're going to reach underneath your seat, you're going to pick up your instrument, and we're going to perform it all together, our instruments, in a symphony orchestra. But you're going to play with your eyes completely closed. There you go, the count of three, you're grabbing your instruments. One, two, three, reach under your seat, grab your instrument, get it tuned, get it ready, get your music ready at the count of three, you're going to play those instruments. One, two, three, play your instruments! I think I was ready to go play with ten times more energy. One, two, three, ten times more energy. <laughs> I think I have three. I want you to switch your instruments. Try something brand new. One, two, three. Switch. No, I didn't. Wide awake, not knowing what the fuck's going on or where you are. One, two, three. Wide awake. 
Why are you waiting? Why are you Get to meet some of these people. Hey man, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, my name is David. Can I three? Close your eyes, go deep, deep asleep. One, two, three, deep asleep. <laughs> that must come in handy, eh? <laughs> First, I'll touch you on the head right now. At the count of three, when I wake you up, you're going to continue using your imagination in the following way. At the count of three, when I wake you up, for the rest of the show, you're going to be the world's worst liar. You can no longer tell the truth. Everything that comes out of your mouth is a complete, utter lie. And you're the best at it. <laughs> and this will be stuck with you for the rest of the show. Count three, open your eyes wide awake. One, two, three, wide awake. You know, some of you guys look really familiar to me. Did, uh, did I go to school with any of you guys here or something, by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> we went to school? Maybe that's where I know you from. What, what year did we graduate? Did we graduate like in 06? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I'm really bad with names, though. I just, I, 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 I can recognize a face. I'm just not really too good with names. My, my name is Dave, and, and, and your name is? Scooby. <laughs> Scooby. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, Scooby. <laughs> I don't remember, I, but people at the, at the box office told me that you flew in thousands of miles from a very far away country just to watch today's show. Which far away exotic country did you fly in from? Russia. <laughs> exotic country of Russia, yeah. <laughs> and I've also been told that you're real famous in Russia. All the girls want to be with you, all the guys are jealous. What did you do in Russia to make you so famous, Scooby? Tell everybody why you're so famous. I DJ in all clubs. DJ Scooby. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Hi there. How are you? What's your name? Dennis. Nice to meet you. My name is Dave. If you count three, close your eyes, deep asleep. One, two, three, deep asleep. <laughs> First, I'm touching on the head right now. The count of three when I wake you up. For the rest of the show, you can no longer remember your name. No matter how hard you try to say it, you cannot and will not say your name. It is completely gone from your memory. And once you realize you've forgotten your name, this is going to be the most upsetting thing. You're almost going to cry. In fact, you will cry. This is so sad that you cannot remember your name. Count of three, open your eyes wide awake. One, two, three, wide awake. Here, stand up for me. The final question. For one million dollars. <laughs> Life changing money. The question is, it's bearing on the scoreboard up there. The question is, what is your name? Okay, just throw some hope. I see. I see on the scoreboard you have a lifeline. You want to use your final lifeline? Okay. It's a phone a friend. Who's a phone a friend up here for her? She's got a. You're the phone a friend. Dude, only you can help her. You're her last hope. The question is, what is her name? Shady. The time is up. You'll never get a chance to win a million bucks again. You know what you could have done with a million bucks? It's all this asshole's fault over here. Hey man, how you doing? You okay? Alright. My name is Dave, what's yours? Nice to meet you, Jeff. Count of three, close your eyes, deep asleep. One, two, three, deep asleep. <laughs> I'm asleep a little bit. Hey, how you doing? Good. What's your name? Kyle. Nice to meet you. My name is Dave. Count of three, close your eyes, deep asleep. One, two, three, deep asleep. Sorry. 
<laughs> First, I'm touching on the head right now. Can I have three when I wake you up? For the rest of the show, you're also going to have a problem. Your problem is this. For the rest of the show, you very proudly and confidently believe that your name is Cocksucker. <laughs> And every time I forget your name, you're gonna get really pissed off at me. How could someone forget such a simple name like Cocksucker? You're so proud of this name. It really makes you mad when people don't get it right. And a count of three, open your eyes wide awake. First, I'm touching one, two, three, wide awake. Let's um, go into some of the names here. We got um, Scooby. Oh, I don't know. Have, have, have we met the four men? My name is, is Dave. Your name is. Well, it's nice to meet you, Christopher. Ever have that problem where someone tells you their name, you walk in, you're like, oh, 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 what was that guy's name? You're like, Charles, Craig, C O C K. That's fucked Have you ever met a cocksucker before? Oh, yeah. Dylan, the person I'm touching on the head right now, the count of three when I wake you up. For the rest of the show, every time you hear this noise, you just shit your pants. It's really dirty, it's really smelly, it's really squishy, and it reeks. And if I can smell it, so can everyone else on stage smell it too. It is absolutely rancid. Now, as we open your eyes wide awake, you'll never admit that it's you, though. One, two, three, wide awake. Sorry, guys, I just had some, uh, some nachos that's been reeking with public. You know. <laughs> Holy crap. What does that smell like? Dude, was that, was that you? Uh-huh. <laughs> it was more down this way, but I guess it's coming from the center. <laughs> Everyone stay to the count of three, close your eyes, go deep, deep asleep. One, two, three, close your eyes, go deep, deep asleep. All right, I'm gonna share a secret with you guys. Right now, you would swear they're deep asleep, but they're not. Or else they wouldn't respond when I ask them to wake up. They can hear everything I'm saying. Therefore, they can hear everything you're saying, too. So from this point forward, if I ask you're having a good time, make sure you make lots of noise and let them know the show only gets better. You guys having a good time? <laughs> Everyone stay for the count of three when I wake you up. We're going to go on a journey again, just like we went to the beach at the Arctic. This time, back to the comfort of your own living room. At the count of three when I wake you up, you're going to be sitting in front of a television on your couch, watching your favorite comedy directly in front of you, sitting back, Relaxing, laughing your ass off. Here you go, the count of three, watching that comedy. One, two, three, wide awake. Oh shit, it's Seinfeld, your favorite Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> the one where George comes in. <laughs> oh shit, it's so good. <laughs> and the count of three is going to be ten times funnier. One, two, three, ten times funnier. <laughs> oh shit. And the count of three, not funny at all. One, two, three, not funny. <laughs> they got the remote control, change the channel, flip to the channel. Higher. Higher. I'm gonna put down the remote control. You've just stopped on no horror network. Monsters. 
killers, aliens, things that go bump in the night. This is some really scary shit. You're always told never watch this stuff late at night, but here you are all alone. You hear some strange sounds, listen. You hear some footsteps upstairs in the attic, ball. listen. <laughs> at any moment. Hey, you got pop out of scary guy! Okay, I'm picking the remote control. Let's find something a little bit better. Go higher. 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 What the fuck? A password? Who put a password? Who put a password? I don't know what the password is. It's always 1111. One, one, one. Go ahead and put in the password. And like magic, he doesn't lock the hardcore porn network. <laughs> Oh yeah, dirty, <laughs> hardcore, raunchy porn. Those are some of the best porn you've ever seen, and there you are all alone, all by yourself. No one to interrupt you, and man, you are feeling good. And it's starting to get really hot, and you're starting to feel really, really frisky. This is some of the best porn ever. <laughs> Into the next scene walks a really hot, beautiful chick. Look at that. Her back is to the camera. She's got long legs. Nice big titties. Wait a second, you recognize this chick? Who is that? Holy shit, it's your mother! Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Get down to your mom. Fucking nasty. Now the count of three, close your eyes, go deep, deep asleep. One, two, three. Close your eyes, go deep, deep asleep. And let that thought be forever removed, never to return again. Saving yourselves thousands of dollars on hypnotherapy bills. <laughs> We're just going to skip the dance, we're going to write to the. So a lot of people have um, misconceptions about hypnotists. Often you, you see us in movies and TV shows where, where old men with long uh, goatees and a suit tail, and you often uh, have a, a little pocket watch where we wave in front of some young virgin's eyes. But or it doesn't work like that. Or sometimes you see us, we're being hired by the FBI or the police to hypnotize someone to go back in time to bring out a lost thought or forgotten memory. We're going to go back in time with these folks right here. We're going to go back in time to their high school prom. Everyone stage at the count of three when I wake you up. We're going to go back in time to your high school prom, and I'm the guy you always wanted to dance with. I'm the person you always wanted to dance with. This might be your last chance to dance with me before we go our separate ways. Some of you are going to be really, really happy to dance with me, but some of you are going to be really upset and really jealous if you see me dancing with someone else. However, you'll never get in your seat unless I ask you to, and you'll never get violent. There we go, the count of three, open your eyes, wide awake, staring at me at the high school prom. One, two, three, wide awake. Good <laughs> job. <laughs>
some motherfucking shit. Look, she's gonna get you. Might want to get your cameras ready right here. Everyone on stage in the count of three, open your eyes wide awake. One, two, three, wide awake. <laughs> Together? <laughs> you guys had a broke back mountain moment there. You guys going home together? Oh yeah. <laughs> Everyone stay to the gallery. Close your eyes, go deep, deep asleep. One, two, three. Close your eyes, go deep, deep asleep. You guys having fun? <laughs> You know, it's really physically exerting up here for these folks, and mentally too, so I think it's time to give them a little bit of a reward, a, a treat for all their hard efforts. Everyone stays to the count of three, when I wake you up, in my hand, I'm going to be holding the world's biggest blunts. 100% pure wheat, pure marijuana. You're going to light it up, you're going to smoke it, you're going to really, really enjoy it as you kick back in your car and relax. You're going to the count of three, looking for that weed. One, two, three, wide awake. Check this shit out, guys. Look at this. Moment? Yeah? <laughs> yeah well, this is a really good stuff. Moment? What is in the air? Moment? I didn't leave Joel out to see the MC. You guys? Moment, yeah? You want to share one? Then? Going? Yeah? Oh, shit, man. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll just take one off him. Cool, that right? It's alright, I got a special one for you. What is that? Oh shit, it's a cop. They're coming closer. Get rid of it, hide it down your pants somewhere! 
sleep than he was. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> He's coming through your window. You gotta think of an excuse to get rid of this guy. <laughs> He's big. What's going on here, man? I didn't hear a fucking word you said. Have a time. Alright. I'm waiting for you to say it. I'm going to say it.